Hi everyone, this is Tony from Blue Butterfly Creations and today I have a very quick um, simple single page 12 by 12 layout and this is actually done using the Creative Imaginations paper and I'm going to spin this so that the bottom of my page is towards you. Now this paper is called Cat's Life and it's in this fun funky teal color. It is a double sided paper. I'll just move this out of the way so you can see the other side. It has these great um, strips that you could, if you wanted to, cut off and use as edging on another page. So first thing I did is I trimmed away the seam piece that tells you all the information, the designer. Then I sat down and I decided which size photos I wanted. And I wanted for this layout and the style I did, I decided to do this block style layout for my photos. So what I have is this deep maroon colored paper to map my photos and then all those sit on the black. And this paper is actually from Basil. What I have here is a piece of this deep red and it's cut at five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Then I have three pieces here and these are all cut at three and three quarter by two and three quarter. Then I have this piece of cream that's going to be my journaling spot and this is cut at three and a half by two and a half. So then my black, in order to make it fit, I went and decided I wanted a quarter inch seam in between each of the pieces. So I added up my dimensions for each of the three mats, then added a quarter inch for each space in between. That gave me a total dimension of nine and three quarters by nine and a quarter. So I have nine three quarters by nine and a quarter. So I'm going to start tacking some of this down. And I'm going to start first by moving these off to the side here. I'm going to tack my journaling square onto my backing. So I'm just going to take my glue glider and run my adhesive. I'm going to center that. Like so. I'm going to place it off the side for a second. Then I'm going to pull in my pieces here like this. And again, the bottom of my page is towards you. So I'm going to arrange these roughly where they need to be. Again, keeping that quarter inch in between. I'm just going to make sure this fits up nice on the side here. So I'm going to start tacking these into place. And I'm tacking my basil down so that the texture is towards the top. So that the texture is facing up. So there's one. Here's two. Here's the third little piece. Get like that. Then I have my mat for my large five by seven photo. I'm again going to run it adhesive on the back here. And I'm going to center that in the space here, both keeping a, my quarter inch on either side. There we go, and pressing it down. Now before I tack this onto my background paper, I'm going to put in these six heart-shaped brads. So to do that, 
I'm going to use a ruler. I'm actually using my ruler for my Cricut tools. And I'm going to find the center here. So again, this is five and a quarter, so my center is going to be right along here and I want to put it centered the other way as well so I have a one inch seam so I'm just going to park at the half inch I'm going to poke a hole with my piercing tool I'm going to insert my brad like that make sure that my hearts are upright so this is why it's definitely important to know which way your paper is facing so that your heart is upright then I'm going to take my ruler again and spacing out from the center there center of the heart I'm going to insert another brad I'm inserting that one. And you can use if you have where this is a cat theme, if you have yarn, um, shaped brads, or any other brads you want to use, feel free. This is just what I happen to have on hand and want to use. So I'm gonna space this out again. There. Making sure my heart is upright. I'm going to insert it through. Hold the tabs on the back side. There. So there are the brads towards the bottom. I'm going to lift this so you can get a better view of those brads right there. Now I'm going to do the same thing towards the other end. So what's nice is I can just slide my ruler along here, insert that hole tool, just like that, make sure that I'm going the right way with my heart. I'm going to flatten out the tongs on the back side. And the same on the others. this one here right there and making sure my hearts are upright and it goes flatten it perfect now I'm gonna flip it over and run some adhesive on the back side Long lines down this way. I'm going to turn it, throw some right over those brads. Again, down on this side. Perfect. Pull this back in front here and make sure I have it the right way. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to have this centered above the cat on the bottom. Make sure I have it right where I want it before I tack it into place. 
and I think it looks good there so I'm going to press down and there you have it a very quick and simple 12 by 12 page cat themed and this paper again is from Creative Imaginations and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Blue Butterfly Creations.blogspot.com